Hey, everybody. I'm Eileen Hull. Happy to see you here. Thanks for coming. Uh, welcome to all the YouTubers, to the Facebook groups, and everyone who's watching on replay. Thanks for coming. Hi, Miranda from the Netherlands. Thank you for coming and popping in there. Let me show your comment. Isn't that a cool feature? I never think of doing it. Um, today, we're going to work with leather. And we did a little bit the other day. Hey, Laura. And uh, today, we're going to do a little more. We're going to make a passport book using some cool leather. Hi, Cindy. There's Charlotta. Uh, so we're going to have fun with this today, hopefully. We're going to emboss the cover. And so you'll see a little bit of the properties. I mean, we did a little bit the other day, but this is actually putting together a whole book, hopefully. Hi, Susan. Hi, Elaine, Kathy, Lori. Lori's home from work again. That's good. So um, we have some supplies that are not, you know, normal ones. This is some of the leather working stuff that I got. I got it at Tandy. You can get it online. Um, and probably other things work, but, uh, you know, I haven't seen them. I, I, I only know what they, <laughs> I have like basic stuff. I don't, I'm not totally into leather working, but I'd like to be. So I have a couple samples to show you. And I wanted to, before we get going, I just wanted to show you, I went down to my, um, my local store. Hey, Brenda and Linda, Carrie, good to see you. Lisa, Pam. Hey, Tracy. Hey. So this is my local store. It's called Golden Hill Paper Crafts. And I just got some paper, but I also got some really cool paint. And I wanted to show it to you. It's from Prima. And the reason that I got it was because my friend Susie was there and she enabled me to get it. So I blame it on her. <laughs> and I also got some more watercolors. I had a, uh, this is, these are not the best ones because I don't know if I'm worthy of using them. I got them at Michael's and I had a $5 off reward. So I just thought, nah, I'm just going to get them. They're more greens. So I want to keep going with the watercolor because I've been kind of playing around with it. This is just a little card I made the other day just for fun. I watch all these videos. It's like, how hard can it be to bank a rose? pretty hard. <laughs> but, you know, it's like anything else. You have to practice. So I want to uh, try new things this year. That's kind of my new, new thing. I mean, you have all the stuff. You might as well see what works with what and, and use it all, right? So um, here are these paints. And what's interesting about them is this one is yellow and pink. So it turns colors. Isn't that wild? It's called Opal Magic, and it's by Prima. So um, I got that color. I got Aqua and Rose, which I thought would be amazing. And this one is Coral and Teal. So I want to play with these on the gel plate like, um, like uh, Susie did. And this is blue-green. Aren't they cool? So I don't know. They're like color changing or something. So... I had to get them, and you can't just get one because you have to, you know, have a little variety, right? Hi, Allison. Have you tried them, Tracy? Are they good? I can't wait. Hi, Judy. All right, I got that. And then I got some crackle glaze. And this is the good stuff that I like. If you want to glaze your napkin decoupage, uh, if you put a thick layer on, it makes big cracks. If you put a thin layer on, you make it makes thin cracks and then you can go over it with a brown and kind of distress it. The thing to remember about this is you have to have a layer of something underneath. So you can't just like put it right on the napkin and think it'll crackle. It's not gonna, even if it has a layer of the uh, decoupage medium on it, then it will crackle. So you sell them. Oh, good, Susan, very popular. Hey, Marion. Hi, Erin. How are you? Uh, what else? Oh. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? This is from a Craft Consortium. Look at these. Double-sided. Whoops. They look like spring flowers to me. And I wanted to use them in a journal. They're kind of big. But in the full-size journal, can you imagine? 
They've got like little flecks of gold in them. They're amazing. Yeah, you would love them. Laura, it's it's the uh, people that we got our stuff, our Christmas ones. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Susan, you probably have these that, because I know they're from the UK. And then I just got some really cute, like Valentine's paper, because I'm a sucker. And then this other stuff from Echo Park, which is birthday. So you just get the base page so easy. It would be so easy to whip up some cards with these tags, you know, so they have like that color and that color, boy and girl, you know, or just little cute ones. Those were adorable from Doodlebug. And those could go in journals too. And then I got into the more uh, 49th and Market, 49 and Market, whatever it is. Whoa. And really pretty ones here. They do lovely decoupage paper sheets too. Oh, I didn't know that. They don't have them at my store, thankfully. Anyway, these are really pretty. <coughs> I had a coughing fit right before I got on. I don't know where it came from. But, and this is a set from Echo Park with all these little components. And I always love to buy them because they can fit on the front of a journal. You could use them inside. You can make little books out of them. They're just really, really cute. I Oh, hey, there's Sharon Curtis. I always wind up getting things like that um, because they're, they're multiple purposes, which I really like. It is, hi, Hector, how are you? All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take some leather, and you may notice this giant array, which I spent all night packing up and listing. Finally, I have the leather listed. So we are going to be using, um, I call it luxurious leather, hand-selected by Eileen Hull. Um, so this was a big, huge piece of leather, which I cut down into smaller pieces so that um, you know, they're easier to work with and they're exactly designed to work with the big shot. So you, there's no guesswork. There's this size, which is six by 14, but like this one is a little taller because that's how it worked out. So, you know, it's approximately at least six by 14. So from that, you can get this uh, passport book, is, which is what we're going to make today. Okay, so this is kind of an easy one because all the parts are separate. Uh, so we can emboss them separately and then add on the spine. So I just thought this is a good way to start. Hi, Jimmy. Yes, good to see you too, Hector. Hi, Loretta. Anyone else having trouble with the feed keeps breaking up. You know, they were saying that the other day, Loretta. And people were saying go over to YouTube that it seemed to work better. Um, we're also going to use our knitted sweater folder. And my knitting is now like that long. So I have to tell you about this. I haven't knit in so long, but it's part of my Do New Things campaign. So I decided, well, I'm going to get circular needles and I'm going to make a blanket for my daughter's little girl who is expected in May. Another thing I didn't think about, May is going to be warm. <laughs> so she will have this big squishy blanket and be roasting hot but <laughs> so anyway it was fun fun working on it so I bought this big skein of this chenille yarn and I started knitting I cast on the entire 29 inches well it grows so this thing is huge and um oh Tracy did a passport journal using the Prima paints oh I bet that's beautiful Tracy put it up in the group so we can see hi Sarah and Joellen uh, anyway, I now have this big long blanket and I'm going to have to keep knitting to make it proportional. So, um, you know, sort of thought of that, but for next time, if I do another one, meanwhile, it's costing like probably $50 in yarn so far. <laughs> so dumb. I just wanted a little blanket. Oh, well. <laughs> Hi, Sharon from Virginia Beach. Yeah, we didn't get snow. I've been waiting all day, like, okay, six o'clock. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hit me. No snow. It's warm out. Forget it. Do new things campaign. That's right, Hector. I'm doing it. You had problems on Tuesday. Had to look at live on the telly and chat on the iPad. Ugh, why do they make it so hard? I don't know. Hey, Karen. 
So anyway, now the other thing that you may need to use if you're using a leather that is thin, this one is pretty thick. So I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this color, I mean, look at that. It matches the little, uh, that's like a little, <laughs> little sample cupboard over there or a doll one. So this is pretty thick and this body, this weight is gonna be perfect to make a journal. And so I'm not gonna back it with anything, but if you did have a thinner weight, you might wanna back it with the Sizzix surfaces because it is very, it's flexible, but it also gives body, it's pretty thick and it would make you a nice inside cover and also serve to keep it, um, you know, with a shape. So I recommend this stuff. It's good. Now you're buffering. Ugh! Okay. Um, so just to recap, the other day we did some small journal accessories made out of leather. This is the little purse that somebody said it looks like a purse and it does. Uh, this was made out of a label die. So what you would do is just put your keys on here, but it's easy to grab. And then we made another one from a different label out of the gold. And we used rivets and screw um, posts. Then we also made this cute little bookmark. And I did add the tag on here with a jump ring. It's not laying right, but we saw how to um, do a metal stamping. We used some luster wax on here. So if you want to see how to make these, go ahead over to our Tuesday live and you can watch the replay. Okay, this is a, a leaf, which I was thinking I could use on my journal because this is done with the same leather. So this could be a journal charm or it could be on the cover. Uh, okay, you shouldn't have said it. It's working today. <laughs> okay. Hi, Deb. Hi, Yvonne and Marina from Florida. Probably nice where you are. We also made this cute little sweater embossed tag. So anyway, these are the smaller leather things, but it's time to move up. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make an actual product project. Um, here are a couple other books that I've done. This one was interesting, and it's hard to see the glare here, but this was made. I pressed lace into it. I didn't use a folder. I just took some big wide lace and I laid it on my leather and I rolled it through with a cutting pad on top and it is holding really nicely. And I think that came out really cool. So you don't have to use a folder, but it is a lot easier and it, it embosses deeper. So that's something. And then just a little charm. So maybe someday we'll make some charms too. Yeah, real lace, Laura. It was crocheted lace and it was pretty thick. So um, here's another thing. Now this was just a little journaling card die that I had from a while ago. And I just cut two of them and put a little notch in here and stitched them up together. So you can make, and then I embossed, you know, both sides. And I also added color to it. This was a veg tan leather. So I used some inks to, um, color this in. This is the veg tan before you color it. And that's also embossed with a, that's like a 2D folder. Uh, here's another one. This one I don't really like, but I think that I can somehow change it or fix it or add more color to it or something because I like the pattern, but I don't like those blotches. It's too, I don't know. So I'm thinking I might take it apart and just change that a little bit, add more color to it, or I don't know what I'll do to that, but something, because I don't like it. I could just add luster wax to the whole thing, and that would fix it all. So, hey, Chris Flint, you're here. All right, here's another one. This is more veg tan leather that I added color to with my Colorbox Blends inks, which are no longer. I still have a couple left in the shop, but they really add a nice vibrant color to it. You need the phone holder. Okay. All right, Kim, coming soon. Your internet is terrible today. Oh, Sharon, isn't that annoying? Okay, so here's a nice cover, but you can see on the inside, that's the color. And the the bonus of this is you get the um, negative, the deboss too, which is very pretty. 
And then here's a bigger one. And the interesting thing about this one, that's an old embossing folder. And you can see how you, if you have to work it into where, you know, the, the pattern of it only fits, if you're doing a large journal, it'll only fit part. You could, so you could do it down the side and try to match it up. If it's a pattern like this, you can. Um, or you can leave this here and you could, you know, uh, metal stamp the date or something or your name or a, a message. So there's ways you can work around it, but I'm hoping that also I can show you um, some other tips on this. And the other thing that I did different on here was I stitched. Chris, you've been sick. Oh no. I hope you're going to be okay. Well, I'm glad you're with us. So you can see that I stitched the edges here down. So I know I have a nice um, permanent spine here. It's not going to pull away or anything. Yes, we all hope you feel better. So do we add the lining before we cut it? Um, yes, that's what I would do, Jimmy, because then everything is going to line up perfectly. You could do it and you could try to match it up, but you know that it's going to work. If you cut it all at one time, it will have to match. The other thing is the pressure of rolling it through kind of squishes the two layers together so that they're more um, solid and uh, secure. The dreaded COVID. Oh no, Chris. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Oh man, what a pain. I hope you feel better. Uh, yeah, someone is asking about the luster wax. I don't know. It would be fantastic if you could design A4 size embossing folders. Sandy, there might be something in the works. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be a while, but <laughs> stay tuned. All right. Hi, Ramona. You got playing with your air fryer? Does it have sticky or do you glue? Okay. I, if I'm sticking the two layers together, I use my um, easy cut adhesive because I know that is going to keep it together. It's nice and thick and sturdy. It's not going to pull apart. So that's what I use. You could use glue. And we do have a leather glue that we're going to try for our, to put our spine together today. And it's called uh, water-based contact adhesive by Echo Weld, E-C-O-W-E-L-D. So we're going to try this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Chris, that was a fluke. I'm really all over the place when I stitch, but that was a good one. <laughs> so of course, here is the one you've seen this a lot, but it's the same idea. This is the bigger one. So what I did to match up my folder on here was I did it one way and then I turned it around. Now I was using my Big Shot Pro and of course this was not put together yet so I had a little room to maneuver. So that is something that you have to fiddle with. So um, this is the full size journal which makes a beautiful date book or planner, whatever it is you like to do. I love this. We're gonna do that today. So let me get all this stuff out of the way. This place is a disaster. I have been making samples because Sizzix is having a virtual trade show next week. And so I have to show my chapter one dies and all the samples. So my team is all busy getting ready and we're making samples and shipping and <laughs> you'd be tempted to steal the journal. That was a lot of work. I was sweating the entire time. <laughs> that would go at a, you know, that's under lock and key, Laura. Not really. Okay. So Let's, um, yeah, and then I'm going to, I mean, we'll just string it like a normal one. And these are some little books that I got at Joann's that I'm going to put that inside if we get to that. Because sometimes they get a little wet, so we, we want to wait to um, dry them. But anyway, let me turn the camera around. <laughs> I hate this part. All right, let's see. Bring it over here. Put it up, not too high, all right, and turn off the volume so we don't have squeaky stuff, add to stream, and 
There we go. All right. Okay, so these are the two dies that we're going to use today. The passport book. I think I have six of these in the Etsy store if you're interested. I also have some of these. And I have the leather. And this, again, is what it looks like. It's um, a nice size roll. It will go through on a die. You know, it's designed so that this is about 12 inches, so you'll have a little leeway. Or you can take some and cut it off and test it before you get going on it because you don't want to waste your good leather, okay? It's expensive, and it's expensive to buy, so you just want to take it easy on that, okay? So let's go over the die. We haven't looked at this one in a while. Uh, it's called a passport book, and what you do is you're going to cut two covers and one binding. This is for pages. If you want a die-cut paper to put in your book, like, you know, if you have some of your gel print pages, you can cut them out here, and you know they're all going to match up, and they also match up with the binding. But today, we're just going to use this end, and we're going to cut two pieces of this and one of this. So the first time I go through, I'm going to put my leather over both of these, and then I'm going to cut another one out of that. Okay, so let's just do that, and we'll deal with things as they come up, as usual. I'm sure they will. And then we're going to emboss it after that. Okay. So I'm using my long cutting pad on the bottom, but on the top, I'm going to use my short one because it fits and it's just easier to maneuver. So now the question is on these scoreboard dies, there's two ways you can do it. Okay. You can, on the binding, you can cut the binding so that this side is facing the die, or you can do it the other way because some there are two schools of thought on this. Mine is that I like to see these score lines, and this is thick enough that I know it's not going to cut through. Now, if you weren't sure about that, you could back it with something and then do that, you know, and you'd know that you'd have like you could put some of this on the back if you wanted. Um, I'm going to try this. I think that it's going to work, but if not, I have extra and I'm not going to worry about it. It'll be a good experiment. Okay. So the other thought is this part right here is tougher than this. It's soft. So some people don't like to disturb the integrity and the strength of the leather by putting the score lines on the front. To me, it makes it easier to bend. But on the other hand, I see it still works if you wrap it around. So it's going to be up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, we're also waiting your managers at work to make. Oh, hey, Wendy Jean. All right. So let's just do this. So I'm going to trim some of this off with my fun scissors because this is going to get in the way. If it was paper, I would just leave it. But this gets bulky. So I'm going to trim off this part right here. And I am going to go ahead and cut this with the spine facing. All right. So let's cut it. And you're going to see it cuts like anything else, you know, depending on the thickness. If it's too thick, and I am going to run it through twice because sometimes the fibers will stick and you have to trim them. So might as well just put it through twice. Now I hope that that didn't squish my spine. Nope, that looks good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so there's my spine, and here is my leather cover. Now, it did curl a little bit, but I find that when you emboss it, it stiffens it a little more, too. Why is the white on binding? Oh, okay, Jimmy, These this is fun foam, and I put that in here because leather or mat board, it, it collects in here, and so this white, it adds a layer of foam down into the bottom of the uh, these little holes here. And it prevents it from, like, um, collecting in here so that, you know, you can't, if you can't run your die through, that's no good. And it won't cut a hole. If it piles up too much, that can happen. So we don't want that. So make sure you pick these out, especially with leather and mat board. If it's paper... You know, it can collect a while, but probably still not the best, right? 
So the foam helps it to eject a little bit. All right. Now, all right, so we're going to do one more. Will that make it? I think so. Let's try. You can always cut it down. So have a plan if it doesn't work. From, it's right at the corner there, but I think we've got it. And as far as I know, there's not a right and like a grain like there would be with fabric, with leather. There could be, but it's hard to see. My favorite and first Eileen Hall dies passport book. It is a good one. I, it's just fun. All right. Now, if you did decide that these are a little floppy and you wanted, you could cut another one and you could glue them together and make it a little stronger. But when we put our books in, that's really going to help. And it, like I said, the embossing is going to make it more stiff. So I don't think we have to worry about that. All right. So the other thing that we need is our platform and our folder. So here's my folder. I'm going to do my sweater. I think it looks kind of wintry, you know. Okay, so we're going to take both of our covers and look at how nicely that fits. Now, the only thing I found about this is it could distort it. Like it could kind of move it out this way or up that way. But I don't care because I'm doing two of them and they're both going to be the same, whatever it is. And between the binding and stuff, you're, I don't, I'm not going to worry about a, a, if it's, you know, a 32nd of an inch off. And I'm just going to spritz this with water. Turn it over and missed it again and then line it up and I'm going to try and keep it the same when I do my next one, but who knows. All right, close it up and get your second cutting pad. And if you were using a regular embossing folder like this, you know, you would use the two cutting pads. With the 3D, you only use one. Okay. So this might take a little muscle because, oh, yes, it is taking a little muscle. Man. All right, I might have to stand up for this one. This is thick leather. So I think I may just do this twice. Wow, this is really thick, guys. So think about that. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to have, let's see if it's stretched. Yeah, it did a little bit, but I don't even mind. And the other thing we can do is we can put that on there. Or we could, we could emboss the spine. So there's always an option, another way to fix it. So now let's do the second one. I'm just going to line that up the same way. And you can see there are some little irregularities here, but that's part of the leather. It's meant to be like that. So if you get the leather and it has marks or whatever, that's just how, you know, leather is. All right. So let's send that one through. And let's try putting that in an angle. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Standing up again. Now, if you have another platform like a, I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to do this again because I did the other one. I want them to match. I might put some of that gold luster wax on it too. And you can use whatever folders you have. Yes, look at that. Oh, and see how it's more stiff? It'll get stiffer as it dries, too. And sometimes these will warp a little bit. So when you're done cutting them and embossing them, just lay them flat and let them, like, cure for a minute. So what do you think? Should I emboss the spine? That would stiffen it up a little bit. What do you guys think? What was different using Big Shot Plus for A5? What do you mean, what was different? Part of me wants an electronic die cutting. Yeah, you know, that's true. I 
think I am going to emboss this just for the heck of it because we can. And it will bring it all to the same height. Yeah, I definitely think I need to add some luster wax. All right. You guys can see, all right. Oh boy. This is really thicker than I had thought, but it works. And you get a little exercise workout while you're at it. <laughs> okay, so now we have our spine. And we're still able to see our score lines, and it didn't weaken it or anything like that. But one thing about this, we know that our spine is going to go like this, whether we put it on the inside or outside. So I'm going to form that now, because it will remember uh, that shape. So if you know that you have to bend it, start bending it and training it, you know, when it's wet. Okay. Luster wax. I don't know, Cindy. Is um Hector, are you still here? I don't know. Usually Angie is here, but I, I don't know when we're getting that in. Okay. So now we have our book. And they're the same. So I think this looks more like um, a book you know, with a cover, like a bound cover coming over. But you could also do it like this, which makes it a little bit bigger, you know, and can add a little bit more. So I usually do it the other way, so I think I'm going to do it that way. So the next thing that we're going to do is get all these hairs off here. It's just little pieces of leather that came out of the... the um, these little score lines here. All right, so let's add our adhesive. And what I'm going to do is just take it and put a book on top and, um, you know, let that stick down for a minute. So this stuff is, this thing is, kills my hand to open it. It's kind of weird looking, but let me put down a little mat here. Yeah, the sweater. It does. It just looks cozy. All right. So I'm going to get a yucky. Look at this. My paint is chipping off. Ooh, is that going to fit? Yeah. And you're just going to paint on the adhesive and just make sure that you only get this part wet. And give it a good coat you want it to stick and the thing about it is because it's embossed you don't have as much surface area to stick it on because it's raised up you know what I mean so you only have half of that there to glue it to but just lay it on there and press and then we're gonna do the other side I mean you could do it on the back of the um, journal, but you wouldn't know how far to go. So I'm just going to paint it on here. And I'm not sure what else I would use. I don't know what would compare in the craft world. That's why I stuck to the leather because they ought to know their stuff. Now I've got some stuff over here. I'm going to wipe that up because I don't want that going on my spine on the rest of it. So I think that's good. So, you know, we'll, we'll ch check on it in a minute. Oh, wow. That really is sticking fast. I think because I tried to pull up the other one. It's already kind of set. All right. I'm going to put this right in water because stuff is sticky. Have you ever tried E6000? Yes. It, you know, the thing about that, Ramona, it's got some dimension to it. And I want this as flat as I can get. So I'm going to put these things on here. These are so heavy. And just let that sit for a minute. And let's, let me go through and see if there's any questions. Um, Joellen, I'm using this EcoWeld 
water-based contact adhesive. You may, it seems to me like, um, I don't know what to compare it to. It's pretty watery, but it's almost like a combination of rubber cement and like, I don't know, a white glue. I, I don't know. That's why I bought it because I'm, this is not my thing and I want to make sure that I have something that's going to stick it. You could sew it, Karen. That's true. Yeah, you could machine sew it. I don't have my machine here. So, uh, what else? Yes, the Dollar Tree clasps are very good. Never far away. I use them all the time. But right now I think we need the weight. So I'm just going to give this another minute. Alden's leather and suede glue is very good. Okay, that's good to know, Sharon. Yes, I got that at Tandy. Yep. Yeah, and you can order that online. Amazon has leather glue. I'm sure they have it. I I have another one, another kind that I got, and I can't find it. It's too messy in here. So when I find it, I want to try that too. Yeah, this color is amazing. Uh, I'm using the platinum. Okay. All right. Where do you find that adhesive? Yeah, um, you can probably find it anywhere. You know, it, the, the company is Eco Weld, but I did, it might be a Tandy, you know, like distributed by them, but you know, it's just a leather glue. So I would, if I was gonna use it. Now, the other thing that you could use is this, and I have done that and it works, but what I did was I used this and then I also stitched over it on that red one that I showed you, that red journal. So I kind of put a layer on and then I sewed it. And you can see, I don't like having any extra bulk here. It just bugs me. And this one, actually, I used this tape. I didn't use the adhesive on this one. So it will work. And I mean, I don't have any, there's nothing pulling away. I'm really pretty happy, you know, tiny bit down here, but because I've, moved it around a million times so you can use this dry adhesive and it goes a lot faster so whatever you think there's an aileen glue for leather I just used it i don't know how much it costs pieces glued quick well that's good emmy um 3d embossing is on sale yes you can get this never use wax thread in your machines okay all right so let's see how this is yeah that look, oh, what do we get on here? Some gook. Ugh. Well, that's annoying. Maybe I can get that off. See, that's why you want to have a clean surface. You never know what you're going to get in here. I'm going to throw that out. Okay, so the next thing we want to think about is, well, we've got to put pages in here. This actually feels really nice. I mean, it feels like a nice consistency. But see how that squished out a little bit? So it's kind of yellowed. I wonder if you could sand that off. I might try that later. Or I could add some luster wax on top. No one would know. Um, the only thing about the luster wax is make sure, because last night I was making a project, and I had the luster wax on my finger, and I got it in a place on the project where I didn't want it. So just make sure you're just doing it where you want, and then wash your hands, because it's a mess. Hi, Laura. Aileen's leather and suede glue is good. Okay good. All right. So what do we want to do? Do you think a little, a little color on here? Because the other thing that I was thinking was we have this pretty, you know, we could do that right on the cover and not, I mean, the contrast is nicer if I didn't do anything or I could hang it here. But the size of it, I kind of like it just right like that. I could glue it on with this leather glue and that would be it. What do you think? Or I could do some on the side here. I don't know. There's something about it's just so much fun to do. It makes me want to do it. All right. Let's think about it because we can always add that later. Okay. What about an industrial machine? Um, what do you mean by that? There is a glue eraser you can use. Just trying to think what it is called. Oh, that would be good. Um, Ginny, what do you mean about an industrial machine? To like sew it? To stitch it? You can. I know, the leaf on the cover does look nice. 
and it is the same leather, you know, but it's embossed. So I do like that. It would be nice to be done. <laughs> All right, I can add that at the end. All right, so the next thing we want to do is bind it, which uh, I'm just going to use some elastic. And actually, I have some of this gold, which is kind of pretty, and it would go with that. So oh, garbage can overflow. All right, let me just take one of these out and let's. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> this was for a class and I didn't use them all, so. Um, okay, so. Hmm. I think what I'll do is these are the little books that I thought I'm just going to put in here for now. I hope they fit. I didn't even try them. Oh, wow. They just fit. Look at that. Wow. All right. The little Dollar Tree ones would be better, but I thought these colors were pretty. And if we have leaves on the front, you know. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that'll work really, really well. So what I'm going to do then is we will just string this book. And I'm going to cut three. Yeah, I'm going to do. Oh, you know what, though? This is kind of a pain. I'll do one if it's too much of a pain. Oh, there's my magnet. I lost that last night. <laughs> it's stuck to my scissors. If you cut it out of a V, it's easier. So what I'm going to do is just make three strings here. Actually, how are we going to do that so they fit? Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, I meant to do it the other way. Let's see. These could expand. You know, I could cut them long enough to hold these in. But I kind of like how it looks, but I did it the wrong way. I should go this way. I'll show you in a minute. It's And also, you should figure out if you want um, your which cover you want, front and back. They're the same, so it doesn't matter yet, but at some point you got to pick the front and the back. Okay, so this is the middle. And this comes around and you tie it, yeah. So these will go through the little notches. I don't know if that's right, but that's one way to do it. <laughs> it's more than one way to skin a cat, as somebody I know said. <laughs> I can't remember who. All right, so just make it not too tight, but tight enough to hold your book so it isn't floppy. And don't finalize it until you test. Yeah, see, that's too floppy. So loosen it up a little bit and pull it a little tighter. So you can slip your book in there and it stays. And if it bows a little bit, that means that's okay. You have a little tension there. And cut it long enough so you can work with it. Okay, that's good. So it should look like this. What you want is to have the inside long so you can... That was too short, so I hope that doesn't break. But what you want to do is make it so that you can insert your little book here. Okay? So we're going to do that three times. Wow, that is just perfect. So these sit in this little notch here. So they shouldn't shift around. That looks kind of pretty. And then you could put a plaque here because you're going to have open area, which would also reinforce the stiffness of the spine. So oh, I'm loving this. Okay, let's. now I have to remember how I did that. Uh, yeah, I think this is right. Are you in Facebook? I have one of those glue erasers. Oh, that would be good. All right. Tie this up. Let's pull it 
down a little. You don't need a ton of it getting all bulky. You know, you're probably not even going to see that when you have your books in there. So, okay. So tie your second one. If it caves in a little, that's all right. Make sure it's tight enough. So if you guys have the uh, passport book, you might want to play around with it a little bit. Some leather. It is so cute, don't you think? I just like the size, you know? Make a nice little gift. Or like a little birthday book or like a password book or a little sketchbook. Oh, look at these. Some Okay, that one is blank. This one has the lines. That has the grid. Oh, that right there is worth a million dollars because I love the grid. You can draw in it. You can make lines. I can't write on a straight line. So <laughs> that's why I like the grid. It's my friend. All right, one more. See how fast it's going together? You could assembly line these. You know, do them in stages. Cut all your leather. You know, emboss all your leather. And just whip out a bunch at a time. You can sell them. You know, Laura's on here. Laura sold a ton. Laura, how many of those little metal books? You were going to town on them. I mean, if you're going to have the fun of making them... Might as well sell a couple, or at least give them, you know, put them in the cabinet and keep them for Christmas or somebody's birthday or, you know, like Chris, when she gets COVID, you can send it to a friend. It's just a nice gift. Okay. And we're done. Look at that. You think 50, over 50 books. Man, good job. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I mean, you've got a nice, sturdy little journal in, what, 30 minutes? Not including the other size. Wow. Oh, these, uh, Cindy, these were at Joanne Fabrics. This is what they look like. It's Park Lane. That's their... You know, and I'm sure I got them on sale. They were two forty nine, but I mean they would be worth it at two forty nine, because the dollar store one. Oh no, those are three for a dollar. But these are pretty. They already have the covers on them. They go. You know, look at how perfectly they fit in there. That is crazy. The only thing is, you really don't have room for a pen. You know, and I like to have a pen with my books, but I wonder if there's a way you could thread it through that it would be in the way. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. But it would be easy to add little charms down here dangling or, like I said, a plaque, you know, that would kind of straighten the spine out a little bit. Like, uh, what do we have? Not this, but, you know, something like that at a mat board. Let me see what I have here. Where's the mat board when you need it? I don't have one scrap, but anyway, you know, like a little strip here. And it could be decorative or it could be also kind of functional, you know. Or you could put it inside here under under these, you know. I don't think it needs it, though. It kind of sits nicely. Oh, thank you, Teresita. I think I am going to glue that on there. What do you guys think? Yeah? What die did you use for the book? This is the passport book, Christy. This is what it looks like. So that's the the die. This is the leather, and this is the folder. So that's how you get that. And luster wax to make this. Well, the only other thing I might do. No. I like it the way it is. I'm going to just glue it on there right now, and I would actually finish. You can make a little pocket on the spine for a little pen. Carrie, that's a great idea. <gasps> Wait a minute. We'll just take a little scrap and make a tiny little pocket. We'd need a little pen, but I'm sure I have a little pen somewhere. Oh, that would be so cute. You know, you could even emboss it to kind of, but I don't mind it. 
being different. Let's just cut. All right, this makes me nervous because I have to cut a straight line. And I have to draw this or maybe use my, um, <laughs> my, you can use my knife. I feel more comfortable. I should do it on that. I don't want you to see all the bad ways that I do things. <laughs> I just grab whatever I have around. So if we set that there, the, all right, this isn't true. So let's cut that down a little. I love that idea, Carrie. All right. Talk about crafting on the fly. Well, I'm a little off there. I'm going to cut the bottom because it's got a, a notch. And it's already too tall, so that's good. Boy, it cuts nice with a knife. All right, so let's see. Oh, look at that. Sister calling. Oh, all right. Well, that's always nice. Okay, so let's just put a little... Maybe up to here. I'm going to use this as a guideline. We'll see you next time, Linda. Oh, I think this is such a great idea for the pen. Now I have to, I'm on a mission to get a little pen. And we're going to have to bunch it a little bit so that it can slip in there, you know, like that. Hmm. I might have to think about this a little bit. Although, you could just slip it through. Maybe I should have made that wider. I'm going to play with this later because I don't want to mess it up right on the show. <laughs> uh, but I am going to put my leaf on there because I am pretty sure I like that a lot. And you can put the year, you know, you could do your rubber, your um, metal stamping like this. We could do a 2022, you know, like across here. <gasps> That'd be pretty. Or my initials. Hmm. I'm going to think about this because that's going to matter where I put this. But I just have to decide if I want to put something down here, which I think would be cool. Because what I would probably do is the same idea. Like, I would fill, rub that with gold so that would stand out, you know? All right, I'm going to do it. I'm committing. All right, luckily, I still have my things on the table here to do my stamping. And I think I will put 2022 because two reasons. There's only two of these that I need. And that also, it can go to somebody else if I, if I get generous. <laughs> All right, so I think I'll cut this down now. And then I know what space I have to work in. That is my middle layer. Okay. So let's do a strip like... Half an inch. I don't know why that's wavy, but that's okay. And then like that. Sorry, I know I'm not talking. I'm just trying to figure this out. But I love that idea. Hmm. That doesn't look quite straight, but I'm going with the um, homemade thing. You know, it's homemade. Handmade sounds better. All right. This is always the hard part, trying to figure out how to space it. But I can always cut it off, so... As long as I keep these close to each other, and I do want to do that, have them close. 
not perfect, but. Cute. 2022. Isn't that fun? Bye, Pandora box. All right, I'm just going to trim a little bit off here. And a little tiny bit off here. <laughs> Another tiny, tiny little bit over here. Okay. Oh, cute. All right, let's do the gold. And I might just use a cloth to put it on because I don't want to get my finger all messed up. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this luster wax and rub that on. Actually, where's my. I can use this. Don't try to get it all the way down because then you're going to lose that definition of the numbers. Oh, I love this. I don't know if I can give this away. Oh, look at that. How cute. What do you guys think? What color would you use? Wouldn't that make a nice Valentine present? Now the other thing is, I got some of this paper the other day at Michael's, and it's a pad of watercolor paper, and I thought that would be pretty to cut that down and make that for an insert too. So I'm glad we waited. What do you think, straight or angled? Mmm. You guys like? Yeah. Yeah, it does look so metallic. Oh. What do you think to... um? Angle the leaf or leave it straight. This, A or B, pretend you're at the eye doctor. What do you guys think? Angled, straight, angled, straight. Uh, wash hands, yes. I don't think, I did get some on me. This is a horrible thing to do, but I use Windex and put it on my hands and then I rub it with a cloth. All right, A, B, angle straight, B, A, <laughs> straight, angle, straight, <laughs> angle. All right, when, next time I look at it, that's what it's going to be. All right, it is angle. Okay, let's do angle. Just a little one. And then I could go like that. Like that? What do you guys think? A, yay. Love it. Okay, however we do it. What's the difference? I mean, it's pretty when, well, however it is. All right, let me get my brush. Lord. I just don't like to ruin, <laughs> I don't like to ruin my brushes by leaving them in the, this but I do it all the time all right okay we're doing it we're going for it it's a community project here <laughs> that did stick really well I have to say All right, we're going for the angle, and wherever I lay it down is going to be, because I don't want to leave those blue marks. All right. And one more little dip. Oh, man, now I want to make a bunch of these, and I can't because I have all the samples I have to make, but you guys are going to love seeing them, and the team is working really hard. We have a new blog post up, so go and check that out. We're still working on the gel press collaboration, which has been really fun, so check that out, EileenHull.com. Okay. 
not sure if that's straight, but close enough. I think over a little. Ah, please turn the leaf, put it in the top. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know. I maybe I might move this over. Look at how that's sticking, though. I will say that's pretty good adhesive. All right. Okay, guys, look at that. You, we did it together. Isn't that amazing? It's beautiful. Let's see. Wait, let me move all this stuff. You can enjoy it without all the extra. But I do like that leather. And we also have it in the bigger size. So if you wanted to do this, and make your full-size journal out of it. Mm, that would be pretty too. I am really happy with that adhesive. So there it is, guys. I love it. What a fun little book. But yeah, I would like to um, get that off of there. But So there we go little passport book okay so if you have other books they would work too so if you have like the uh, let's see what I have here you know you could do this with the journal you would just need the bigger one so you could get two covers but you could do the uh, the same way that we did this one in fact you probably could get the whole width of this with the folder you know, so you could do your whole cover, or you could just go up to here and do like, you know, the little line like this, you know, at the top, because it'll kind of burnish this line into it. I didn't do this. This came from the folder. When I laid that down, the folder pressed in, and I was like, oh, that's great. How did that happen? And then here, I just took a, my, I used my pokey tool, and I just went and, you know, made these lines with that. So I outlined it, and then uh, I did my, you know, numbers. I forgot I had that set of numbers. That's a vintage set of um, these metal stamps, leather stamps. Got to find them again. But I think this is good for the scale of it, and it looks kind of clean, you know. But the notebook would be similar the, if you have that one. The notebook would work. The pocket notebook would work. The um, book, or is it the the wrap journal would work? You know, this one would be great, and then it would fold over. So that's a good one. Wrap journal. Have some of them. The folio journal. I mean, that would be a lot of leather, but you could do it. You know, or you could just cut this piece here. Lay your leather right down and just make a book out of it and we'll be five by five. So lots of options for leather guys. And the good thing is it comes in bigger pieces. You know, it comes in bigger than the map board, which is six by 13. So you have a little more leeway. So anyway, there we go. Did somebody say in a recent live the passport? Yes, it is, Allison. No, you didn't imagine it. Sadly, it is going out of, uh, you know, out of stock. Uh, the weight of the leather, Allison, I would say it's between a two and three ounce. I mean, Joellen, um, let's see. This is, you know, let's compare it to a piece of mat board. I can't believe, all right, here's a piece of mat board. I had scraps and I moved them because I had too many scraps. But as far as thickness, well, they're about the same, actually. Do you see that? They're pretty similar. This is probably a little bit thinner, but not much. Okay? So this is like two to three inch. Everyone that does not have the passport die should get it while they can. Thank you, Chris. What an ad. It's true. I mean, you, you can't get it. They don't make it again. And... You know, it's sad because that's a good little die. But I think I have six. So if you want one, just head on over. 
you'll use it a lot. You, the nice thing is you can even use these as cards. You can make cards out of the front of these. And you can also, the other nice thing is that these, this here makes the books and the books also work in the wrap journal. They work in the little notebook. And I think there's one more. The folio journal, or the, no, not the folio, the um, trinket box. If you make that into a book, it will work in there. I think that's it. But anyway, you know, so you can use it in four different dies to make books. But it, it specifically lines up if you're going to stitch these into the book. It corresponds to these holes here. So, yeah, it's a good one. Oh, thank you, Laura. Yeah. It's like one of my babies. <laughs> Apparently two layers can be machine stitched. Yes, they can. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Oh, good. Okay. Well, have fun with it and make sure you post in the fan club what you're making. What's the max for the machine? Joellen, I would say, see, it'll cut it, but it might start going through or it may not cut through enough. You just don't know. It depends on the density of the leather, the machine, all of that stuff so it's hard to say whatever you do test it first on a scrap you could resin the covers oh man oh yes oh yeah it is that would be cute for kids yeah we've done them with the kids they like making books some I'm sorry some was meant to say don't you can resin oh yeah okay um i was just gonna say something Mm, lost my mind. I don't know, but yeah, you could stick. I mean, there's a lot of options for this. For one thing, you could put the little tab here on the outside, so you could do that. You could stitch these down. You could, you know, bind it in a different way. You could put that little plaque thing here, which I really do. Really do. That is probably. Oh, that is my son calling. Sorry, that was my son. Uh, <laughs> One more time, it's only for a big shot plus. No, this is in the regular big shot marina. Okay, so this was this is what it looks like. It's one of the six inch throat, you know. It's all the pieces are on here, plus you have the pieces to make the book, the insert books. But these we just got at Joanne. I got them at Joanne's. But I love that they have the tiny grid. Look at that. I need to go back and see if they have more. The other thing is the the cover, you know, you may think it's a little floppy, but look at when you get the books in here, it sits really nicely. Um, and I don't think I'm going to put a closure on here because I just like how it looks like this. Very simple. And uh, <laughs> I don't think that comes off either. So it is how it is. But anyway, I think it came out good. Okay. All right, guy. Yes, you just need the XL cutting pads. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, and you can get calipers to check the thickness. Um, and what you do, they also have a little tool on the Tandy site, which is like, uh, it, it's like a little piece of wood, and you just insert the leather, and it stops where the, the uh, weight ounce measure is. So that's another way to tell. Sometimes you can just tell by feeling it. That's too skinny. I'm going to need to back it. Other times you, you know, this is, this is just perfect, really. This weight. I'd say it's like a three, a solid three. So anyway, the more you work with it, the more you would know. Okay. Yes, it would make a really nice wrap journal. Yeah. Well, maybe we have to do that too. Well, good. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. It's 10 after 5, for heaven's sakes. That was long. I thought we went so fast. But I'm going to let you see when I get my little pocket here. And it may turn out to be another, you know, like maybe I'll do something like that. Because then I could glue it to the side. And that could do, I don't know. I have to think about this. The engineering. <laughs> but Anyway, we have a book. We made it in less than an hour, so it's cool. Start knocking them out. Put them in the fan club. Also, go over to the blog and look. If you're not a member of the fan club, go to Eileen Hall Fan Club. Um, it's a Facebook group. We have 6,200 members. 
and really active and fun and nice members, which most of you are here. A lot of you are here. So thank you for being part of it. And thanks for all your sharing because that's what inspires us, you know, when, when, and me anyway, when I can see what everybody else is doing and kind of get ideas, it's just really fun and a nice community. So thank you. You're going to get this die out again and play with your leather. Good, Jenny. Give it a try. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday. And um, yeah, we got some fun stuff coming up. We have Maggie going to do a tutorial um, the first week in February and lots of things happening in February. So we'll let you know when it gets closer. Okay. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Have a great weekend. Bye.